Hey, this is James from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with Diesel. Well, good morning, everybody. We're back here at work. We got to tarp our load before we take off. They were kind enough to put it here in the tent for us. But take a look at this stuff. Take a look at this. This is not going to be fun. So that there is the glass that was already on my trailer, right? That I already picked up. I tarped that. That's my load. Now they added that and this. And I have to tarp this. Like, what is this? All kinds of different angles. Pallets stacked on top of boxes. Boxes on top. I got like these copper pipes sticking out that are going to want to chew right through my tarps. This is not going to be fun. And then this back here, I really don't like a pallet on top of a box like that. And the box is sort of collapsing down here. And what in the world is this? Not very happy about that. I mean, I'll be able to secure it so that it doesn't go anywhere, but I'm going to have to see how, <laughs> how that's going to work. But yeah. So this is what I'm dealing with. I was coming here expecting to, you know, spend an hour, maybe two tarping this, but now I've got to tie this down first and then tarp it yet in a way where these things won't eat through my tarps. On the way to Calgary, this is all going to Calgary as well. No idea what it is, don't really care. I don't like it. Fun time, so let's, let's get to work, let's get this done. Well, I've got my golden helper here. It's doing most of the work for me because I got a sore back. But I am not impressed. I do not like this extra freight. If I would have known what it was, I would have just said, don't bother. Don't bother. I'm already getting full load for this here. This all is just extra for me. I would have, I could have done without it. But I'll get her done and I'll have extra money in my bank account. That shouldn't have been there or that wouldn't have been there otherwise it's just i'm not impressed this load is very brittle so it's very hard to tie it down because everything bends and it's got like super sharp edges like really thin steel edges like here super sharp edges and there that are gonna want to eat right through my tarps. Like with this too, these are gonna wanna eat right through the tarps inside and they're like sticking out pretty far there. You see that? These here, I'm gonna rip a hole right in my tarps. I'm gonna have to put something in there so that that doesn't happen. This is gonna take me a few hours for sure to get this done. Financially, it definitely is worth it. I still would have said no if I would have known what it was. This is one of those loads where you shake your head and you mutter things to yourself under your breath that shouldn't be said out loud. Not impressed. But it needs to move too, right? Somebody's got to bring it there. Who better to ask than Trucker Josh? He'll get it done. He won't complain about it. He'll just do it. So I do have Chevy with me on this trip. Diesel stayed at home with mom. He's helping me tarp. Come on, Chevy, get up there. Get up there, man, I need someone on top. You're li more limber than I am. I guess I may as well stop talking about it. Start getting it done. We'll be lucky to get out of here before the sun goes down at 10.30. I'm gonna get far enough today that I can get to Calgary tomorrow. I wasn't expecting to have a load like this that's gonna be so time consuming. I'm kind of curious already because they weren't telling me what it was. I was trying to get them to tell me what was on the trailer. What did they add to the trailer? How much? All that they told me was, yep, yeah, you're going to have to tarp it. Well, what is it? Is it lumber? Or what is it? Oh, it's light stuff. Yeah, and it's also extremely brittle, extremely fragile, extremely sharp edges. You're probably going to ruin your tarp. I'll stop. Oh, let's just get to it.
there on the sharp edges already. I'm hoping that side is going to be a little easier to do since I've already figured out some tricks on this part. This whole piece is going somewhere else. Great, now i got to get down again. Not cool. already hear the comments well we had to turn the lights on but I think we're officially done Chevy you did a good job thanks for all your help man thanks for all your help you did a good job lots of jumping up there good boy oh yeah yep this is not fun this is not fun I still say that if they would have told me what this was on the trailer, I would have said, nope, don't bother. Don't bother. This is still some poking edges out there. I put some rugs underneath there and it's still poking out. It looks like it's gonna rip. I'm gonna be so sore. My back is just gonna be, uh, oh well, oh well, oh well. I did the best I could. I did the best I could to tie it down without damaging the freight. You could pretty much blow on it and it would bend. Uh, and then I tarped it the best way I could. And I can't do anything else. I mean, I'd love to put a strap over here to reduce this from flapping. But. Not fun. I'm not complaining, I had some good company. I had some good, there he is. There he is. Good boy, thanks for keeping me good. He's such a good boy. He is, me and Britt call him a, a unicorn because he is just the absolute perfect dog. So easy to train. It's that golden retriever in him, eh? He's half golden retriever, half German shepherd. I wanted a German Shepherd, Britt wanted a Golden Retriever, so we got a Golden Shepherd, half and half. A beautiful, handsome boy. Yeah. We actually got him uh, the day after our wedding, or a few days after our wedding, so he's sort of like our marriage puppy. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna open this door here, back the truck in hook up, clean up in here, and we need to get down the road a few hours tonight yet and hope that this load and tarps hold up. Uh, I did the best I could. What more can I do? All right, so we just did our pre-trip. I'm just in the yard here. I'm gonna quickly scale this up. There's no way I'm overweight, but I just wanna know what my weight is so I'm not surprised when I see it on the government scales. Let's see, on the steers we have, I know you can't see it, you'll have to take my word for it. I don't got that camera angle right now, sorry. We have 11,540 pounds. On our drive axles we have, drum roll please. 
was I say? 18,840 pounds. And on the trailer tandems. One axle, two axles. We are sitting at 17,640. We're not even close to being overweight, like I said. This is good news, good news. And off we go, finally. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. Finally gonna get to see the the sky. It's about a day, no, what is it today? Yeah, yesterday was summer solstice. So today the day is just as long. For three days the days are sort of set at the same daylight hours. And then we start getting shorter daylight hours three days later. So that's probably about as dark as the sky is gonna get tonight in the north. I really don't like this freight. <laughs> Have I told you that yet? I'll stop talking about it. It's done, it's tied down, it's all extra cash in the pocket, so, and you know, at the end of the day, as long as we get it there in one piece and they're happy with it, it's good, it's a benefit. It just wasn't fun. And you know what? Not everything in this life is fun. I know you think I'm about to go into one of those rants about how not everything is fun, but nope, you're wrong. I'm just gonna leave it there, I'm tired. I don't even got energy to rant. I gotta just get a couple hours down the road and I'm going to bed. Perimeter around Winnipeg here. And there's so many city people that drive down this highway with their high beams on in traffic. And what's crazy is I've talked to someone who's done that before. And the crazy thing is that they were taught to do that by their driving instructor when they got their license. Their driving instructor inside the city told them that if there are no street lamps and you are outside the city, you should use your high beams at all times. What? Who's, who's teaching that? They actually, yeah, they were fight, like arguing with me. They said, no, no, no. That's what they said. As soon as there's no street lights, you have to use your high beams for safety. Well, good thing you can see, because nobody else can see. It makes sense why when you go around Winnipeg and you, you flash your high beams at someone who has their high beams on. I've never had them actually dim their lights and realize why I'm flashing my high beams at them. Here comes another guy. Big HID headlights. Got his high beams on. Those new HID headlights in the new vehicles are so bright, too. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. High beams. Well, the Red River X is in town. Totally forgot about that. It's like the big fair that comes through town every year. You know, you can see it over there. Some bright lights and stuff. I'm not really too interested in Red River X. It's really crowded and I don't know. I'm more of a fan of like the American uh, amusement parks. Like I could always go down to Six Flags in the US. It'd be way better. And I don't trust these rides. Uh, like look at all this traffic. It's nuts. I don't trust all these rides because they're constantly like moving from place to place and they've been known to uh, fall apart. So I like the rides that are... That guy went right through a red light. Dude, man. And this guy's going through the... Oh. You see what I mean? This is why I don't want to go to these Red River X's. People are just nuts. Look at all these people coming out there yet. It's crazy. It's like 11.30 at night and there's just people everywhere. I guess the X is probably... Yeah, I think it closes at midnight. Crazy. But I like going to the amusement parks where the rides are fixed in place and they don't move from town to town. That way, I don't know, I just feel better about it. Uh, I don't know. Did you guys hear about that ride that uh, broke in Ohio? Was it last year or the year before? It was that, uh, what was it called? The, the spinning one, the spinning one that swings. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it broke and a couple people died. It broke while it was operating with people on it. So, like I said, nah, not for me really. 
these people can all go enjoy it and use their money for that. I'm going to go to like Disney World or something. Universal Studios. Six Flags. Before we go any further though, we need to get some fuel. No! Turn left on alley. No! I'm not going to go down your dark alley, Mandy. Creepy. We're going to turn right into Flying J and we're going to get some go-go juice. And then we're going to try to get to Brandon tonight yet. I want to get a little bit of miles behind me so I can make it as close to Calgary as possible tomorrow. What is the price of fuel? I didn't even look. Guess it doesn't really matter. I gotta buy it either way. I'm at about a quarter tank right now. It's just sitting there. I can't tell. Fuel price isn't that bad right now compared to what it has been recently. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Angela, and I'm from British Columbia, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh and the Diesel Weasel. 